Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Anniversary Ultra Hollows from Glam Polish. This is to celebrate their third anniversary. There are nine polishes in this collection. They release on November 6th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, so I will link the website down below. And again, nine hollows, so I will get right into the swatches. So the first polish is called Ecstasy, and this is a purpley red holographic. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat. It's not quite a one coater just because it is a little bit lighter than what's in the bottle. Formula is great though, smooth, easy to apply, very easy to control, stays where you put it, doesn't want to run or pool. So here's two coats. So two coats deepens the color on this one to match what's in the bottle. This also seemed to dry pretty fast and has a very strong holographic. So there is two coats of Ecstasy. The next polish is called Gilded, and this is a kind of greeny gold holographic. So here's one coat. This one also covers pretty well on the first coat. I can still see through it a little bit though, so it is going to need two. Great formula, just about every glam polish that I've ever tried has had a fantastic formula, and so far these aren't any different. Granted, I've only done two. So here's two coats. So this one does cover completely in two. The only complaint I have about the application is that because this has a very long stem on it, a lot of polish will drip down the stem and you will end up having to dab some back into the bottle before you can finish the nail or else you'll flood. So there is two coats of Gilded. So the next polish is called Exquisite and this is kind of like in between a champagne and a rose gold for me. Maybe it's like a very pale rose gold holographic. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer on the first coat. Formula is the same as the other ones. Smooth, easy to apply. I do feel like it qualifies more as a nude holographic after looking at it on my nail. So here's two coats. And this one covers completely in two. You really like this color. This one also dried pretty fast. So there is two coats of Exquisite. The next polish is called Delirium and this is a deep purpley blue holographic. So here's one coat. This one is just a tiny bit patchy on the first coat, so it is going to need two. Like with every glam polish video, I'm probably just going to repeat myself formula-wise. Great formula. So here's two coats. This one covers completely on two. The color does deepen up quite a bit as well. And these, as with any holographic, will have a much stronger holographic or linear holographic effect after they're completely dry. So there is two coats of Delirium. The next polish is Rapture, and this is a red holographic. I feel like this has just a little bit of orange to it, like it's a slightly orangey red. So here's one coat. So this one is completely opaque in one coat. Great formula on this one, just like the other ones. My brush is a little goofy, but that happens. Just kidding, I decided to try a second coat just in case, and it does deepen up significantly. Should have two coats for this one to completely match the color that's in the bottle, but it does cover completely and evenly in one. So if you're in a hurry, you don't have to do two. So there is two coats of Rapture. The next polish is called Opulent, and this is a copper holographic. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer on the first coat. Great formula though, like everything else so far in this collection. And nice strong holographic as well. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. Again, great formula and nice strong holographic. So there is two coats of Opulent. The next polish is called Precious and this is a light pink holographic. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat. It's not quite a one coater, but it is very close. Like the others, it has a fantastic formula. And I think this might be the strongest holographic that I've seen so far in the collection. So here's two coats. This one does cover completely in two, though it is so incredibly holographic that I think you might be able to get away with one. Just because the holographic is so strong, it makes it hard to focus on any visible nail line. So there is two coats of Precious. The next polish is Ornate, and this maybe could be considered a champagne holographic. It is a silver, but I feel like it has a little drop or two of gold in it. So here's one coat. This one is just a tiny bit sheer on the first coat. Formula, like the other ones, smooth, easy to apply. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two, and I think this one has just as strong of a holographic as Precious did. Also seems to dry pretty fast. I think all the polishes in this collection, I have one left, but all of them so far have dried very, very fast. So there is two coats of Ornate.
The next polish is called Luscious, and this is kind of a raspberry holographic. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat. It covers evenly. I do feel like it's a little bit light compared to what's in the bottle, though. Great formula, just like all the other ones in this collection. So here's two coats. So this one deepens the color on two to match what's in the bottle. It was pretty much opaque on one coat, though, just a little bit too light. Again, great formula, strong holographic. All holographics will be a lot stronger after they're completely dry, though. So there is two coats of Luscious. So I think my favorite in this collection is Opulent. I really, really like the um, copper holographic with a really strong holographic to it. I just think it's really, really pretty. These metallic holographics have kind of been my favorite thing lately. So I was happy to see quite a few in this collection, actually, but this was my favorite one. So those are the Anniversary Ultra Hollows from Glam Polish. Again, these release on November 6th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I will link the website down below where you guys can check these out. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.